This is the high pressure CNG cylinder install for a 2010 Toyota Tundra. Uh, it's got the extended cab, uh, five and a half foot bed. Uh, the cylinder uh, came from American CNG. Uh, we went with the diamond plate, 90 degree cover. You can see how we've just got some four bolts that hold it in place. We kind of uh, fabricated that custom. Most most cylinder uh, cylinder installs are going to be custom fabrication at some point or another. Uh, install shops will get good at you know doing certain types of vehicles, uh, but you know almost every vehicle is is different. Um, there is no real manual on installing these things. You just want to make sure you do it according to NFPA 52 guidelines. That is the uh, fire safety code. Um, and always make sure that the cylinder is DOT approved. So uh, this is it. You can see it's not like airtight or watertight or anything. There is a gap. And you can uh, maybe barely see the cylinder, you know, the end of it down in there. And we'll, we'll get in there and We'll pull this off in a minute. But there's one end of the cylinder. And there is the other end. Uh, got a little got a little gap here on the bed. And uh, these Yakima brackets, uh, they don't really serve any much of a function. Uh, you know, they, they were just here before I did the uh, conversion. We have pulled off the diamond plate cover, laid it in the bed, and uh, here's the Type 3 cylinder. This is a 60 inch length by, I believe, um, 19 inch diameter uh, Type 3 cylinder. It's aluminum on the inside with a carbon fiber wrap around the outside. Um, 3600 PSI, again that's very important. Um, this is all required to be put on there by the manufacturer. Uh, lots of information. I'm not going to go through it line by line. You can pause it and read it if you'd like to, but this is all required uh, by the United States Department uh, of Transportation. Um, these things have an expiration date. That's very important to note in a cylinder. You want to know when it, if you're, especially if you're trying to save a few dollars and buy a used one, uh, you want to make sure uh, you know when it when it expires uh, and when it expires you cannot recertify them so don't don't try it don't buy a used cylinder or an expired cylinder and try and save money these brackets are, are heavy duty they are custom to the cylinder they must be fastened securely again uh, the cylinder must be installed according to NFPA 52 guidelines I believe it's chapter 4 and chapter 6 of the guidelines that uh, cover all of this. There's the filling unit. There's a stress loop. The stress loop is required by law. Uh, just gives it a little flexibility in the event of a, in the event of an accident or anything. You know, it just gives you a little bit of slack, so it doesn't. Uh, you're less likely to uh, tear uh, tear this high pressure uh, fuel line or pipe whatever you want to call it. There's another fuel uh, stress loop. This is a manual valve. Uh, some vehicles will get electronic valves um, that you can control uh, inside the vehicle if you want to. Uh, manual is uh, pretty much you know, standard uh, and the PRD is below that. It's a pressure relief uh, device in the event of an emergency. And it runs down through the bed of the truck there are four types of these cylinders type one two three and four type one is steel type four is carbon fiber um, this is a type three like i mentioned earlier uh, they just kind of range in uh, it's basically a hybrid type two and type three uh, contains a little bit of carbon fiber a little bit of steel the, uh, the higher up the type uh, number the more carbon fiber it is the more expensive it is but the lighter it is um, so keep that in mind, you know, type 1 is the cheapest, but it's also very heavy. This is technically a 16.8 uh, 
GGE cylinder. Um, but the thing about these cylinders is, is that GGE is only under like perfect circumstances. CNG, when you fill it up, it gets, when it compresses in there, it gets really hot. And because of that heating, uh, without boring you with all the technical details, uh, you're going to lose one or two gallons. So uh, if it's a you know, 15 gallon tank, uh, if that's what you think you need uh, for your range, uh, always take off about 10%. Because for instance, this one, it's 16.8 GGE, but I have yet to get more than 15 gallons. I'm usually around 14 and a half GGE at the pump. Uh, it's not because of the system, it's not because of the pump, it's just because of the laws of, uh, of physics and the way it works when this high pressure gas gets put in here. Another thing to consider when uh, deciding on your type of tank, uh, steel tanks are more durable. They can handle uh, getting banged around and dinged up. Uh, when you get these things inspected every three years or uh, so many miles, uh, I can't think off the top of my head, but every three years or so, you're supposed to get these things inspected by a CSA uh, certified inspector. And uh, if a carbon, the carbon exterior has little, any little nicks and dings in it, um, you run a risk of uh, failing your inspection. Uh, so that's, uh, that's why carbon tanks like this are either only found in the interior of SUVs or interior of trunks. Uh, where they're not going to get tools uh, rattling around them or anything. Um, or, like in this case, uh, we've got really good brackets, obviously, and then we've got this uh, diamond plate cover to cover it up. So uh, the odds of it getting nicked by anything that I throw in the bed of my truck are uh, few and far between. Uh, most, most trucks uh, will go with the steel, even though they're heavy, uh, but that way they don't have to worry about them getting banged up or, or nicked around. A couple of components uh, that are usually required by law. Um, this is a one-way check valve. So the gas can only go obviously one way, hence the one-way check valve. Uh, the PRD as we pointed to earlier is uh, required. And then this is something very commonly uh, required by most state laws is a CNG cutoff uh, sign or you know sticker. And then underneath is your quarter turn valve. This is a quarter turn shutoff valve. You only use this uh, in an emergency or if for whatever reason you need to if you're doing any maintenance under the, uh, up under the hood in the front. Uh, this will obviously cut off all of the high pressure to your system. Required by law, uh, even if it's not required by law in your state, it's a very good idea to put one of these on your six millimeter high pressure fuel line and mark it with a sticker so that your uh, anybody who you know if you get in a wreck you flip over in a ditch uh, you know somebody can easily find it and uh, you know they will be aware that there is high pressure gas. Uh, the kit is a Tartarini kit from Sky CNG. It's an eight cylinder uh, for the 5.7 V8 on this Toyota Tundra 2010. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions, email SkyCNG uh, or give us a call and uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Uh, for cylind cylinder expertise, uh, we have a partnership with AmericanCNG.com. Check them out as well. Thanks a lot.